Falling in and out of love, in and out of love with you. Falling in and out of love, in and out of love with you. Falling in and out of love, in and out of love with you. Falling in and out of love, yeah. Falling in and out of YouTube. What's up? It's your boy JMME here, and I'm back with another video. Now we got Tyron Woodley, the frozen one. Now, I know you're probably asking yourself the thumbnail. It says, why is Tyron Woodley a four star? Your thumbnail, you only have four stars. In the game, yes, he is a four and a half star. But in my opinion, I feel like he needs to be a four star in the game. Him in real life, he's not a four and a half star fighter anymore. So, he's a four star fighter in my opinion. Anyway, we got matched up with Darren Till. So, let's see. Ooh, nice spinning uh, back kick from him. And he's a... Uh, no, he's really picking his shots. He he's fighting like Darren T Darren Till in real life. So, mm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw a lot of leg kicks. I'm gonna explode at times. That's what Tyron does in real life, and there's gonna be a lot of wrestling in this. But that's what Tyron does in real life, and he explodes, man. Man, that's a that's a bad dude. But anyway, man. See on top. I don't want to be overly aggressive. I just wanna put pressure on him. You know. To stay on top, I don't want a ref to stand this up because I already, f you know, felt what he can do on the feet. He, he w even for the little that we were on the feet, he was piecing me up. So I, I just want to keep it right here, you know. And this is what this is what I, I like to do. I like the rest. This is what Tyron does. Well, not anymore, but this is what he used to do, and this is what he did to Darren Till in real life. So right now, I'm just. You know, like I said, I don't want to be overly aggressive. You know, I'm just picking picking uh, my spots, picking my positions, what I want to do when I want to transition and things like that. And that's what you have to do on the ground, especially when you're going up against high-level people. And right there, I, I believe I'm the only one who, who does that. Me and probably like a few other people. Not a lot of people do that. So for him to do that, I know he, he has an idea of what he's doing. That's why I didn't want to be overly aggressive and overconfident. And I did do that, and the result of that, he got up. But his leg health, you see that his leg health is it's pretty bad. So I just want to keep attacking the leg. But you see he's slipping shots. That's what I don't want to do when I explode. You see he's slipping shots. So I probably want to start off with a leg kick or something. And then throw shots because he's probably going to slip anyway. So I, I probably just throw a leg shot and then throw punches. You see, I slipped that. that. That's a nice head movement right there. You see that, huh? Mm, yeah, you see that, huh? That, yeah, that's nice head movement. Nice takedown by me right there. Nice, man. Anyway, so I know he knows how to do that get up from off the ground. You see, I immediately go back down because I don't want him to get that get up. But uh, every I don't know if this is me, but every time I throw fakes and as they're slipping, the, the fake, it, it goes in as an input. So say, for example, I'm throwing a jab. And I, I want I, I fake the jab. The jab is gonna actually like throw instead of like faking it, like fainting. It's actually gonna go because he's slipping. I don't know if that's just me or not. Let me uh, know down low in the comments if that's that's y'all. Y'all get that problem too. I think that's just me though. I, I don't know. Anyway. Oh nah, bro. Where you going, bro? I believe I won that round. Even though he probably picked me, he probably he has some good shots on a few. I outstruck him by far. The, I, I believe I outstruck him. The the ground control, that was a nice combo by him. The ground control I had, all the all those things accumulate into it. And another thing, since this patch has happened, you can't just lay on your opponent and wait on them to transition. You know, like the things you used to do in UFC three, you can't do that anymore. And earlier in UFC four, you were able to do that, but now you can't. You have to actually do damage. Your your opponent can actually, actually uh, throw a significantly uh, less amount of strikes as you and significant strikes and total strikes and still win because they did more damage. So you have to be careful when you're on the ground, you know, laying and waiting, you know, have to be careful with that. But anyway, I'm turning it up this round. I, I feel like I can come out, you know, and put him on his ass. But, you know, he's doing a good job of blocking, good job defensively. He's throwing... He's throwing some pretty good combos with Till, and, it, and it's hurting me. So, you know, I just want to keep attacking that leg. And every, for every shot, that, one shot that I throw, he's throwing like three or four. He's throwing a 
three or four uh, piece combo. So I got to be careful with that. And that was a beautifully timed takedown right there. I've always had good timing on my takedowns. And I said this in a, I believe that was the Cup Swanson video. Is this, this patch is forcing a lot of people to time their takedowns real well. And I feel like I'm at an advantage because I've already, I've been doing that. So anyway, and you see he threw that leg kick right there. That's very important. I, Tyron Woodley, I believe he has a five star overhand. I probably should have threw that overhand. That probably would have rocked him. But anyway, if he does that again, I'm gonna throw it. I'm probably gonna throw a jab overhand. That, that's gonna put him on his ass. But right here, we get some good ground and pound right here. Beautiful ground and pound by me right there. As you see right there, I don't want to be overly aggressive because I really could have postured up again and put, put on some more ground and pound, but I didn't want to be overly aggressive because he could have denied the transition and got up, so I didn't want to do that. So I let him go to half guard, and he gets the full guard right there. Pretty good transition right there. I blocked that, so I don't even know how he got it. But anyway, he's blocking the body pretty well, man. I have to admit, this dude defensively on the feet and standing up isn't too bad. I, I would say on the ground, he's better defensively, but he's doing a pretty good job. And I blocked that transition. We go block, uh, deny for deny, man. You know, he's throwing up elbows. I want to posture up and then go to half guard, but it's not giving me the transition. That's why I hesitated a little bit. And it's, oh, fuck, it's like, he's, he's not doing too bad on his on his back but he needs to get up man uh, i'm winning this fight by far i'm winning so i'm just trying to pick my shots man i really don't want to i really 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 don't want to lose this man i'm throwing up hella hella fakes hella fakes right now and it's lagging again man fuck it's like all right and you know, at times I've I've say I say this in all my videos. Most of the time, I'm doing a live recording. I'll tell you if, if the video is pre-recorded. I really don't care. Like, who cares if the video is pre-recorded or not? But most of the times, I'm pausing because I'm actually trying to concentrate. So, if, sorry about that. I'm trying to concentrate on. Oh, he rocks me. I'm trying to concentrate on the fight. So, excuse me for that. But anyway, he rocked me with that spinning back fist. I hope that didn't win him the round. I, I controlled the round again. I outstruck him. Uh, I think. No, nah, I should have. Ain't no think. I should have outstruck him. And I had more control. But my head health and his leg health are pretty low. So I have to watch out for that. My head health. And his leg health. So that's a nice spinning back kick by him. I'm surprised he hasn't thrown a switch kick yet. I'm real surprised that he hasn't thrown that yet. I'm just tagging his leg up. He's throwing that kick. When I'm telling you, he throws that combo again. I'm going to rock his ass, man. I'm going to, if he throws that, that body kick, that roundhouse kick, I'm, I'm rocking his ass. Ooh, I went for a takedown. That probably should have rocked me. Because you see it, my head health went down because I, I literally ducked, shot for a takedown as he threw that. So he throws it again, man. I just got to time that, man. Because I'm going to get his ass and I get him on his back again. I'm going to get him, bro. Because he keeps throwing that damn combo. And I can I can honestly put him away, ah, uh, bro. We staying right here, bro. Where we going, bro? Party just getting started, bro. Don't, don't try to uh reverse positions, no, my guy. But anyway, he just throwing up a hella strike. He just throwing up strikes to build up grapple advantage. So I just want to put on some more ground to come. Like I've been saying this whole video, do not be too over aggressive when you're on top, especially when you're dealing with high level players. Do not be overly aggressive. And another thing, I'm on my backup account, and I feel like I have a lot more fun on this account than I do on my other account, because I play, I play any, I play everybody. I don't dash. I play all divisions, so I feel like I have a lot more fun doing that. So, yeah. Anyway, we get him down. I want to. Ooh, he blocked that. I want to, you know, get that trip. I want to get that back taken trip, but he, he got out of it. He's throwing that kick, kick again. I'm gonna throw that overhand. Ooh, flying knee. I'm gonna throw that overhand. I like, like I said, oh, he takes me down. But you know, I got very good takedown defense. You know, oh, I'm gonna throw it again. I almost threw it, but I can't get it. Oh, let's go. I got it that time. Let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. Jump straight. Mm, yep. Yeah, it's over. Damn it, it's not. It's not. I probably should take his back right here. Nah, he got a. That should have won me the round. I won this fight. That that should have won me the fight. Another power takedown right there. The, the, this fight is over. I won this fight. 
no way I didn't win this fight. All right, let's see, man. Oh, he denies that. Okay, because I actually was going to go for that home drum. But, oh, okay, okay. We got a badass here. He's blocking, you know, he's denying transitions. Couldn't deny that one, though, bitch. Oh, well. He denied that one, though. Oh, okay, okay, my guy. Nah, you're not getting up, bro. We're going to stay here for these last 30 seconds. I'm just like, like I said, I don't want to be overly aggressive, but it's like 20 seconds left. I might as well. That's why I'm just posturing up. No, bro. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, I, I almost went for the on bar. That was pretty fucking pointless. No point in going for on bar. And I try to posture up one second left. What the fuck am I doing? But anyway, that, I should have won that fight. Round one, I won. Round two, I won. Round three, I won. I won all three rounds. Let's see what the judges say. Why he has his hand up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! That should not have been a fucking split decision. Was that a split decision? No way that should have been a split decision. <laughs> but anyway, man. That was a Tyron Willie experience, man. That was Tyron Willie. I had fun using him. But anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Hope y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hold up. Before we end the video, I want to look at the stats. These are the stats right here. And I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.